Good day, panelists. My name is Mary Rosal Infredo, and I am a teacher applicant from Cortes. So today, I will be presenting my skills demonstration for communi communication enhancement. Good morning, everyone, to those who are listening and watching from our webinar today. My name is Mary Rosal Infredo, and I will be your speaker. Okay. Hello. So good morning. So I will be talking about something very something or a topic that is very close to my heart. Okay, shall we start? Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Oh, seems that you can't do that because we are not face to face. However, consider statistically speaking, one of the people you just shook hands with will likely experience a mental illness at some point in their lifetime. Did you know that 43.8 million adults experience mental illness every year? That's a high prevalence of mental illness. Yet, why it's, is it still something that we are afraid to talk about? In October, everything is pink for breast cancer awareness. We go to fundraisers and more for certain causes like heart disease, cancer, and many other illnesses. And while all of these are important, we often forget and don't realize that mental illness is among the number one cause of disabilities in the whole country. Depression is the number one cause of disability. Suicide rates continue to climb among adults and adolescents. Every year, we see the loss of celebrities and prominent figures due to suicide. Yet, we're still not courageous enough to talk about it. Why so? I think it's because of the stigma. So let me introduce you to what is stigma. So stigma is a mark of disgrace as a result of stereotypes and misunderstandings in our society. Mental illness is stigmatized more than any other illness or condition. Turn on your TV, read the news, scroll through social media or overhear just a conversation you are bound to hear an example of stigma and you know those who were stigmatized face even bigger barriers or obstacles to get the help they they need and it creates a bigger burden if untreated for the mental illness in our society so what, what is it? It all boils down to the idea that just because we can see it, 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 it mustn't be real, right? No, there is no perfect or simple solution to this breaking of the cycle of stigma. But at least the very first step that as a community we can do about for mental illness is to talk about it in a respectful and real way education about what mental illness is and what it isn't it can challenge a person's misconceptions and stereotypes on a personal level we can put aside our own prejudice and our own false beliefs or simply show empathy if we as a community, as a society, as individuals can start to see people with mental illness as people rather than their diagnosis, we can take that first step to breaking the stigma. Will you take that first step? Will you do so? If, if so, then it must start with a single handshake. Thank you everyone for listening.